welcome to another episode of RecTech Reels. I'm Hannah McQuarner, Commercial Success Manager here at RecTech. Joining me today is Lauren from Assess First, and we're going to be talking about predictive recruitment. So Lauren, if you want to introduce yourself. Hey Anna, thank you so much for having me. Um, yeah, hey guys, I am Lauren. Um, I'm the HR Business Partner at Assess First. Um, I have a really cool role within the organization. Um, I started as the talent acquisition lead, um, very much focused on hiring using the Assess First platform. Um, the role developed into a HR business partner position, um, supporting our, our UK and international team. Um, and then now I'm in a really cool position to uh, kind of be supporting our new clients um, in uh, their kind of onboarding um, and their implementation of Assess First and kind of sharing all of the tips that I have um, gathered over the years um, to yeah, really make sure that that process is as efficient and as supportive as possible. Amazing. Yeah, it's really nice to be able to have put, um, put such a big stint into the industry and then actually be able to apply that knowledge thereafter and still yeah. travel a little bit as well. So really, really yeah. great. Exactly that. Like I've, I've been in recruitment for like eight years now. Um, I've done internal recruitment for agencies. I've done talent acquisition for HR startups, tech startups. Um, so yeah, I've had my fair share of seeing the the challenges that we face um, and how difficult recruiting can be um, to do it efficiently and fairly as well. Um, so what's been so amazing for me as being part of the Assess First team is genuinely finding a solution that solves all of those problems yeah. and now being able to kind of share that with with other people in the industry as well it's, yeah. it's really cool it's a good feeling lovely stuff so I think it's safe to say that you are an industry expert then and a predictive recruitment pro so just mm -hmm. for um, some of the watchers can you just please tell us what predictive recruitment is yeah, sure. Um, I'll just talk a little bit about Assess First and then how predictive recruitment kind of fits into that. So um, Assess First is a behavioral assessment provider. And essentially what we do that's different is we're not just looking at, well, we're not looking at, you know, how somebody, um, their, their verbal reasoning or their numerical reasoning. We're providing insight into someone's most natural personality traits, um, their strongest motivations and drivers and how they make decisions. And then we're basically through our assessment, providing all of that data to a client so that they're not just hiring based on you know experience and someone's cv but really getting a true insight into who this person is um, and really being able to make sure that the accurate hiring decisions they make are based on on that alignment to an organization yeah and where predictive recruitment fits into that is we're not just looking at describing this person, right? We're not just going, hey, like this is this person's strongest personality traits. We're going, well, actually, what do your top performers in your specific organization look like? You know, what are their strongest personality traits? What are the drivers that they have um, in in like in tandem with each other, um, you know, based on, on their performance and based on their attitude? And therefore, how can we make sure that the people you bring into your organization moving forwards have that strong alignment? So we're using our AI and our algorithms to basically establish and assess that data and then create you personalized benchmarks to use against your future candidates. Yeah, and I think you've made some really good points there about how this could be super helpful for so many kind of businesses and also it's a bit of a no brainer, right? You've got people that like, like the business, stay there, they do well surely that should come into your um, your hiring processes. But I mean, I think we both know enough about the industry to know maybe people aren't taking that into account as much. Yeah. So <laughs> with that being quite an overwhelming task, kind of looking at your existing workforce and looking at how we can apply that to bringing new people in, it is a bit of an overwhelming task to kind of to do all of that. So I suppose with that in mind, and the fact that AI in general is being thrown around left, right and centre within the recruitment industry and people mm -hmm. are scared, what benefits would you say that you're seeing now for your clients that are using AI for predictive recruitment? Yeah. God, where to start? Um, <laughs> as I mentioned, like I've seen so many of the troubles that, that have been faced in the industry and up until really joining Assess First, like we tried different solutions and none of them were finding a sustainable, uh, genuine resolution to these issues. Um, I think starting with the situation that people might have internally within their organizations, like they might be struggling with volume, uh, mm -hmm. you know, if you're doing early careers or if you're hiring for quite generalist positions or, or low skilled positions, like there's just so many people that are in need of those roles at the moment. So how do you start to differentiate yeah. between those? And then on the other side of the coin, you might have super, super niche positions that you're looking to hire for um, and struggling actually with the talent shortage. Um, so then how do you make sure that you're bringing the right people into the organization in the first place? How are you attracting them? 
Um, so we can kind of help solve both of those um, because we're going to a give you a way to screen candidates um, by this predictive recruitment by using assessments. Um, it essentially brings your attention to the top ten percent of your of your candidate pool and allows you to prioritize those first. Um, but then it also gives you a way of ensuring that the candidates that you interview maybe within that talent shortage, let's say, for example, technical positions, um, mm -hmm. you're going to really make that alignment um, very clear quite early on so that your candidates have the best chance of, of, retain, of being retained and staying in your company long term. Um, so, yeah, those are kind of two key areas that we can we can help organizations. Um, but I like to think of AI as almost being like a third person in this interview process. And it can be really hard to not hire with our guts um, and to not make like rash hiring decisions based on, you know, um, a quick turnaround needed or pressure from hiring managers. Um, but by using AI in this process, having the assessment data, we can use that to kind of um, cross collaborate, you know, how do we feel about this candidate? And actually, what is the data telling us? Um, so that's helping us make much, much more evidence-based hiring decisions um, yeah. and essentially making the right decision for the candidate as well. Yeah, such a good point. And it's, it's I think from both in this sort of um, format and, and other sort of areas where AI has been helping in different ways, whether it's writing job descriptions or so on and so forth, like AI is your friend. Yeah. <laughs> it's just about working out how it's going to help. And in this situation, like you said, it's helping to... I suppose back up your hiring decisions with that evidence and, and and things like that. So really, really good point. So my final question then for you is what advice would you give to any recruiters who are looking to upgrade their recruitment processes? One of the hardest tasks we have in recruitment and talent is justifying budget, right? Being able to take our decisions or the, the platforms we want to implement to senior leadership and getting that buy-in. Um, and my advice would be that you shouldn't struggle to find those justifications. And I don't mean just simply by looking at, you know, the benefits a platform offers you, but being able to really dive into well, why is that the case? You know, where's their justification for pro providing these benefits? Um, and for us, like a key area that we do is our, our research. We're so deeply ingrained in not just following the science that's existing, but creating the new research and the evidence. Um, and our science team have uh, presented the research for uh, everything we do within our assessment at multiple congresses around the world in the last couple of years. Um, we're constantly writing new research papers that are published in, in global journals. Um, so we we want to shout about the, the validity and the reliability of our research. So, yeah, it shouldn't ever be difficult to find that, um, particularly when you're looking into AI, right? You want to know that you can trust the data that these companies are providing you. And, uh, yeah, just, just look for it. And, and it should be there um, to really reinforce that, that that decision is a sound one. Amazing. Good stuff. Well, thank you so much, Lauren. And if you're watching this and you are in the market for a new applicant tracking system or recruitment CRM, then do take advantage of our unique fee-free comparison tool, RecTech Compare. Um, if you are looking to build out your tech stack with complementary technologies, just like Assess First, then be sure to check out our tech marketplace at rectech.io. Lauren, thanks so much for joining me today and uh, I'll catch up with you soon. Thanks, Anna.